Hey, what's going on everybody? It's a Tuesday. Uh, it's a Tuesday. I don't even know what time it is, but it's a Tuesday. But, uh, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 Career Mode, Episode 4, Season 1. Uh, the last race, just a handful of days ago, was at Las Vegas. I took out Kozolowski. My bad. Well, not took him out, I accidentally got him into the wall. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Kozolowski doesn't, uh, see me this race, but, uh, yeah, I got, I, I, I kind of got into him, got him into the wall, but that, that's that, that's in the past. But now he's annoyed. He sent me a, a, a horrible tweet, and hopefully uh, stuff like that doesn't happen. But uh, anyway, we're going to ISM Raceway for the Ticket Guardian 500. Let's go. And. 14th Qualified 14th not bad not bad not bad not bad Hello and welcome to ISM Raceway for the Ticket Guardian 500 formerly known as Phoenix International Raceway just a few years back This track recently completed a massive renovation that has improved the race experience for the fans and drivers alike this race is about to begin so let's head down to the track all right so Clint Boyer has been dominant all weekend he got the pole and uh, Ryan Truex is starting at the back after a engine change after qualifying so he's back there I'm up here towards the front There's Keselowski in front of Bellini. Whoa, what is Keselowski doing? But yeah, I, I looked and Jimmy Johnson is the race winner of Las Vegas. So Jimmy fans, your boy is now in the playoffs. This car is loose, and there's there's the man of the hour right now, Jimmy Johnson. I am loose. I don't like racing at ISM. IS I've always uh, if it, when it comes to like championship mode and uh, career mode too. I'm not really a fan of racing at ISM, even with the new layout and stuff. Like, this is probably one of the tracks I struggle at. Like, I, I don't like racing at ISM. Like, it's probably not the track itself. It's probably just because the way my car handles at the specific racetrack. Also, I came into this race with a penalty because I took a speedway car to a short track. So, yeah, I'm. I love, I love mismatch penalties. I don't like ISM one bit. Well, I like ISM just. I'm, 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 I don't know what to think of the. I don't think I don't know what to think of racing at this track. It's always a track of, like like I said, in championship mode I struggle a lot here. Uh, I can't really get the feel of the car. At this track, it's just, I'm just it's just one of those tracks where. Where uh, I don't really excel at. It's not really my my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it's not a bad race track. I mean, I, I love, uh, I, I like uh, the renovation that they did to it. 
Well, like I said, it's just not a track that I like racing at that much. Oh, Jimmy Johnson! Collect the Benedetto. And that will conclude the first stage here at ISM. Jimmy Johnson having troubles early today. Man, Clint Boyer is the first stage winner. Followed by Joey Logano, Brad Kozolowski, Ryan Blaney, team, all of Team Penske's up there. Jimmy Johnson though having a tough day. He did so well at Las Vegas on Friday. Not to come in today and have a bad day at ISM. That stings. That that really hurts. And here I go. Oh. A lot of right out the gate for stage two got loose. Ah, oh. this race is not going well. Man, first Jimmy, then me. What is going on here? Three to go. I was about to say, wow, that's Tyler Reddick. It's actually Henry. But man, first Jimmy, now me. Who else is next? And there's Stenhouse. Get me away from Stenhouse, dude. Sure, a lot of other drivers are gonna be happy about me. I can't really, I, I can't really help it though. I got loose. I really couldn't save the car. If I were to over, if I were to correct it, I may have, uh, I may accidentally overcorrect it. But there's really nothing I could do. I got loose. I spun. I can't help. I collected drivers. help what happened it's it's not like I said I talked about it in the first stage I talked about it in the first stage what what did I say I struggle at ISM and I just proved to show everybody in the field that I struggle at ISM who won the second stage Clint Boyer, he's doing pretty good. But yes, like I said, I talked about it all for a stage. It's not a track I excel at. I struggle a lot. So it looks like the Benedetto repaired his car. the wall there. No aerodynamic damage after that, which is good. Yeah, 
Not sure how good of an idea it is to take them all three wide at this track. It's kind of questionable here. It's not Braz Brad Kozlowski's up in front. Eighteen laps remaining. Just gotta take the rest of this race nice and slow. I'm not really not really worried about finishing. In the top 20. I just want to fill out my contract goals and do good for my sponsor. Procore. Pac I think patience is the key right now. Try to take things nice and slow at ISM. Don't work myself up too much. And there's Ryan Newman. Hemrick. Joey Gaze. Ryan and Castle behind me. That would be nice for a top 20 finish. Uh, I'm not really worried about finishing in the top 20. My car is still loose after that wedge adjustment. Yeah, I think it's the left uh, front. Or the right, or one of the, one of the front tires. They're to act up. I want to be surprised if I spin out one more time. All right, now I can work on Joey Geese. He really shouldn't be in 21st place, this, uh, this kid. Now some way, somehow, he is, which is surprising. It is. I just ran into the back of him. Give him a little, give him a little bump draft. Twelve remaining. And Twelve laps with the fuel left. I'm getting loose again. Wedge adjustment did it help? And I got black flagged. Oh man. That hurts. That hurts. We'll do the right sides. Ah. That really does hurt. Man. I'm a, now I'm ashamed. That's heartbreaking. Oh man. Uh, this is I, I shot myself in the foot. <laughs> And what have I been saying, guys? I struggle a lot at ISM. And here I am. Two laps down. This sucks. Oh, 
Ah, uh, this is disappointing. Now, all I hope is that they all go down a pit road. And I could gain more spats, but wow. This has to be like one of the top fails of 2020. Uh, what a disappointment. Doing pretty good at ISM. Well, not pretty good, just, just pacing yourself, being real patient. Now look at all the work that I have to do. Just to get back on the lead lap. This is just... This is frustrating. And I like how loose my car is still. This is terrible. Man. Jeez. Uh, nothing I can do about it now, I mean. I can't really, I, I can't really, I can't even steer my car without getting this, without getting so loose. It's like a dirt track now. I got no grip. Like I'm just I'm just afraid to turn the car. There you go. Everybody on the lead lap has five laps to go and I'm struggling so bad. And a caution comes out, but But, I did not get the wave around. I don't think. Yeah, I don't. And we're in overtime. Uh, this is bad. I'm gonna get myself black flagged again if I don't get control of my car. Uh, see the man. Race is over. This is heartbreak in the desert. Ah, uh, that's terrible. What the hell? Yeah, this is terrible. That that was that was bad. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up. Subscribe as well. This is heartbreak in the desert. Episode 4. We'll be wrapping up the uh, West Coast Swing later this week. Or this week, I should say. More videos to come later this week, so stick around for that. I'm going to go recover after this race now. This, this hurts. This really does hurt. Have a good one, guys. And uh, also be sure tomorrow we're going to Road America for the Dr. Pepper Racing League. So uh, be sure to check that out tomorrow as well. All right, I'm gonna provoke Stenhouse. I don't care. Oh, he's angry, he's angry. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome.